Let us start by showing why towers are important, especially tier 1. Let's start with the end goal of a Dota 2 game, which is to kill the enemy ancient. To kill the enemy ancient, you have to get through 4 tiers of towers and 5 heroes, players, defending those towers. Pushing towers gives you an advantage such as level advantage, item advantage, or gold advantage and lastly is a position advantage because fighting closer to your base is almost always stronger than fighting near an enemy's base. When destroying tier 1 towers, you get advantages but the most important advantage you get is the positional advantage because it can translate into level advantage and item advantage. By destroying tier 1 towers, you gain positional advantage by eliminating or minimizing the chase potential enemy heroes have and maximizing your own chase potential. Remember that if they try to get a level or item advantage in the form of farming further out from their closest towers, they have a longer distance to run toward their advantageous side. With less chase potential, you are able to maximize level advantage and item advantage by farming more portions of the map safely and have a higher chance to kill enemy heroes more easily. This is a super simplified version. Remember that there are ultimates, power spikes, hero matchups, and so many other things. But in general, I think this is why destroying towers early on is very good. It can also give you an advantage in farming the enemy's neutral camps where it can open a large area to your advantage whenever the tier 1 towers are pushed early. It can be tricky and situational but I can give two common scenarios on this topic. Number 1 is when you are ahead and destroyed all the enemy's tier 1 towers, you can farm and also try to defend your T1 towers as long as you can defend them. One of the major advantages of being ahead in tier 1 towers is the opportunity to farm until you get certain items that get you ahead. You can smoke gank offensively because are more likely that they are farming near their tier 2 tower to minimize the distance to run to their advantage position or to help the ones that are farming or to defend towers. Second, when you are behind and all your tier 1 towers are destroyed. Unless you are a position 1 hero, group up and try to push enemy tier 1s. For most games, with the correct execution when grouping up as 3 to 4 heroes to take tier 1 towers. This can help you to lessen the gap your enemy has. Prioritize safe lane enemy towers when pushing as it can give you more access to the map. In general, in terms of difficulty, the enemy safe lane is usually easiest, the mid lane tower is second, and off lane tower is the hardest to push. The conclusion on this situation is that when it feels hard to defend or hard to push the lanes, don't force your team to push or to defend. Try to build advantageous situations for you and your team. But if you feel like you can already push a tower as early as possible, then do it. Blessing. Invisibility.
Dyer's courier is so dead. Impressive ineptitude, really. Look at Dyer's bottom tower, Jax. Dire with the scan. Dire don't look too scared of Radiant's top tower. Please here. Jex thinks Radiant's bottom tower is about to fall. He's wrong. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Flare. are fortified. Radiant's carrier has been handy. killed. Were you paying attention? Jack thinks Radiant's yeah, bottom tower once. is about Boom, to fall. There it goes. He's wrong. And it's off! Arcane mystery! of Radiant's top tower. Look at Dyer's bottom tower, Jax. Boom! There it goes! Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Under attack. Dyer's top tower has some radiant shaped problems. Dyer just for the fight. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Jackpot! Dyer's top tower has some radiant shaped problems. Do it with flair! 
Radiant's courier has been felt. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has been delayed. Dyer's top tower has some radiant shaped problems. Rock it on! Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Double damage. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Let me know if I miss something on the comments section. Like and subscribe for more videos. And as always, have a nice day.